Jay Haas and the Winner's Circle are very familiar with each other. They have been since Jay was seven. That's when the youngster scored his first career victory in the National Pee Wee Championship in Orlando, Florida. It was 1960. Not a decade has gone by since when Jay Haas hasn't been a winner. He's won as an amateur, as a professional on the PGA Tour, and now wins on the Champions Tour. Jay Haas is always around on Sunday afternoon. Thanks to a career scoring average of 70.03, he owns the PGA Tour record for making the cut 592 times, which is more weekends with a paycheck than most tourists have entered tournaments. When I look at the accolades and awards that Jay has won, I think about his consistency on tour and the amount of people he has helped and influenced that stands out in my mind. He's going to win some more, but I'll tell you, to be able to keep on doing and do what he did on tour, it's really special. Jay Haas is an extremely nice man. He's a wonderful brother. Uh, he's one of my friends. He's like a father to me and all that, but he's also very competitive deep down, and, uh, and I think that's why he's made the most cuts on tour, 592, and been such a great player for a long time. It's the equivalent of about 15 full seasons, playing every week and every weekend. And tournament directors will tell you that Jay Haas is someone who will go the extra mile to make whatever he's playing in a success. Whether it's a pro-am or a pre-tournament soiree, Jay Haas will be there, understanding that without a sponsor and all the help from the charities benefiting from the tournament, there would be no professional golf. Jay's obviously a consummate professional. He's been great to me since I came out on tour in 83. Wonderful, wonderful player and even a, a better man. Maybe this should have been expected. His family was involved in the game before Jay came along. His uncle, Illinois Golf Hall of Famer Bob Golby, introduced Jay to golf, then won the 1968 Masters Tournament, which reinforced the notion that this golf could be a lifetime occupation. Three years after Golby donned the green jacket, Nephew Jay was raising the trophy as the 1971 Illinois High School champion, representing Belleville West as a junior. He dominated the St. Louis District Amateur, earned a scholarship to Wake Forest, and burst upon the national scene in 1974 with All-America honors. He then took the Low Amateur Prize in the massacre at Wingfoot and made it to the final of the Western Amateur, where it took fellow Demon Deacon Curtis Strange 20 holes to knock him off. That after Haas had beaten Jerry Pate and Craig Stadler. In 1975, he'd win the NCAA individual title, lead Wake Forest to the team championship, match Pate for the low amateur score in the U.S. Open at Medina, and boast a 3-0 record to help the U.S. Walker Cup team to a 15-8 victory at the old course. Oh, and Jay collected the second of his three All-America team nominations. Professional golf beckoned, and two years after turning pro, Jay was a winner again at the San Diego Open at Torrey Pines. Haas always seemed to be on or near the first page of the leaderboard, winning nine times on the tour, twice in the Texas Open, and getting as close as third in the majors. Jay Haas, the man, is what's so impressive. Uh, he's giving, he's sharing, he's fun, he's very even keeled. Um, he really, really is out here not to, not to play golf or earn money. He's out here to help people. And that's what I think the essence of he is all about. His individual successes led to a berth on the 1983 Ryder Cup team. It was the third time the American team faced Europe, and the first time the Europeans, bolstered by Seve Ballesteros and Bernhard Langer, mounted a charge. But the U.S. won, Jay contributing two and a half of the points in the dramatic victory at PGA National. Twice, Haas would make the President's Cup team, and he'd also serve as an assistant captain on two occasions in recent years. Haas turned 50 in 1994, and the senior circuit beckoned, but there was unfinished business left on the regular tour. Playing on both tours, he was selected as the PGA Tour's Comeback Player of the Year, even as he won twice on the Champions Tour. Twice named the Champions Tour Player of the Year, he's won 16 times against his senior pals, including three senior majors, a pair of senior PGAs, and the 2009 Senior Players Championship. He's won in his early 50s, when newly minted seniors often clean up, and one approaching 60, when many are happy just to collect a payday. But more than victories, Jay Haas has won acclaim for how he's gone about his business. He does a lot for charities. He's got beautiful kids and a great wife, and uh, I, you know that's also just shows you uh, he's a great family man, but he loves to play golf. The Payne Stewart Award in 2004, 
the Bob Jones Award from the USGA in 2006, testaments to his style, substance, and sportsmanship. He always has time for people. He just, he's a very thoughtful person in that, and a gentleman. I mean, he has a lot of humility, all the great, wonderful traits that you would want your son to have. This continues to run in the family, with son Bill, the winner of the FedEx Cup in 2011. Because of my great uncle Bob Goldie and my dad, it's the reason I play golf. Uh, it's just something I did because that's what they did, that's what our family was, was into, and uh, didn't really expect to go into the family business per se, but was, uh, it was just something that was, we were around and we were good at, and uh, you know, I've been lucky my whole life, I've had great teachers at home. I'd like to be as good as him on the golf course, but I think off the golf course, I'm still trying to live up to, you know, the way he, the way he lived his life. And it should run in the family. After all, Jay met his wife Janice at the 1977 Heritage Classic. She'd gotten his name in the annual family golf pool and decided to follow him. Jay noticed. She was there again on the second day, and he told his caddy, if she's here tomorrow, I'll ask her out. She was. He did. Jay Haas finished 29th at Harbortown, but love trumps a trophy any day.